It's a wonderful day in the sanctuary. A beautiful day for a sanctuary. Would you be saved? Could you be saved? Hi, I'm Pastor Rogers. Can you say amen? amen? I like the way you say that. <laughs> Let's sing a song. Would you like to sing along? Yeah. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. You know, God loves you, but if you don't get right, he's going to fry your face off. <laughs> now, this morning's message is about God's grace and man's filthiness. But first, here's Mr. Deacon to talk about the church cleanup program. <laughs> Hiya, Pastor Rogers. <laughs> Hi, boys and berries. <laughs> that was real dumb. <laughs> Thanks, Pastor Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Hate that laugh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, you were a little late this morning, weren't you, Mr. Deacon? <clears throat> what? Late? Yeah. Oh, late. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I had to stop and uh, help Miss Nerdlick get her kitty out of a tree. Oh. You might say it really went out on a limb for her. <laughs> <laughs> was, was she at the Blue Light Lounge bar, too? The what? The, the bar. I saw your car out there this morning. The bar? Yeah. Did you get much of a chance to witness? Oh, yeah, I sure did. <laughs> okay, now about the church cleanup program. Um, we're going to need lots of help this weekend, everybody, so if you can all come on out, it'd be real appreciated. And listen, bring lots of uh, old rags and stuff, because you see, oh, you we've know, been the taking Bible a look says... at this place lately, oh, and it's sorry. real filthy, and we've got to clean it up from the inside out, you know? Oh, you know, the Bible says we're like that without the Lord. Why, it says that you can look real good on the outside, but be like a whitewashed tomb full of dead men's bones. Mm. Ugh. That's a, a pretty grave thought, Pastor Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Why, you could even be head of the church cleanup program like Mr. Deacon here and still not be saved. <laughs> what? What were you saying about the church cleanup program? Ch ch church cleanup? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I was saying that we're going to have to all come on out and really clean up our lives. Church. Church. I, I said lives, but I meant church. I mean, <laughs> after all, we're talking about our church here, not our lives. Right, Pastor Rogers? <laughs> well, you know, the Bible does say we should cleanse ourselves from all filthiness and also... I, I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Now, another thing, everybody. Could you all come on out this weekend and bring lots of paint? Oh, you know, the Bible says we can't just paint over our sins, though. Uh, and then brushes. <laughs> and brush away our responsibility before God. And, and, and ladders, you see, because we've got to reach up to the... Uh, reach oh, you know, the Bible says you can't reach God by your own efforts. To though. the rooftops. I was going to say to the oh. rooftop. <laughs> well, in that case, it says that which is done in secret will be shouted from the rooftop. Look, okay, I confess, I took the money from the church treasury, but I was going to pay it all back. It, w it was just a loan. A loan? Yeah, a loan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, we don't want to work alone this weekend, so if you could all come on out, it'd be real helpful, you see. And, and listen, bring lots of old rags, folks. Oh, you know, the Bible says that our righteousness is as filthy rags next to God. Uh, Want to know what the original language says No, that? I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and another thing is, is we're going to need lots of, lots of uh, uh, twine, you see. Oh, some of us get so entwined in our sin, though. And, and nails. <laughs> and that we have, even have a few nails in our coffin. And then <laughs> <laughs> and our chances just keep getting thinner and thinner. <laughs> and a uh, uh, stain remover. And we can't remove the stain from our heart. Okay, I didn't know she was only 17. Who? <laughs> Mrs. Nerdlick, we, hi, they, he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and another thing, along with the stain remover, you see, folks, we gotta repaint. Repent. <laughs> what? For the kingdom of God is at hand. I confess. <laughs> Oh, oh, Mr. Deacon, Mr. Deacon, tell what? us what the problem is, what? Mr. Deacon. Us? Us. Us? Us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Deacon seems to be upset, so we'll go on with this morning's message and come back to him. <laughs> you know, the Bible says that the wages of sin are death. God has provided a way out. But if you don't accept that way, all that's left for you is hell. Hell? That's right. Can you say hell? Watch your language. Now, to understand what hell is really like this morning, we're going to do a science project. That's right. You've all heard the saying, you don't have the chance of a snowball in hell? Well, we're going to take a snowball and a blowtorch. No! And, oh, no! Mr. No! Oh, no! Mr. Please, oh, please, Pastor Rogers, don't send me Mr. to hell! Mr. Deacon! 
I'm wrinkling my sweater. <laughs> Calm down, let Pastor Rogers finish his message. And we can talk about this later. <clears throat> you know, the Bible says <clears throat> that if you haven't repented... I haven't repented. I don't think I've repented. I don't remember repenting. I guess I haven't repented. Ah! Then there's no other place for you. There's no other place for me. Did you hear that? No other place? You have to go to hell. I have to go to hell. You don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Did you hear that? Ah! And figures, oh no, nobody gives Mr. Deacon a second choice. Ah! But there is a way out. There is a way out. It figures there is a way out. Did you hear that? What? There's a way out? That's right. All you have to do is give up. I give And pray. First, you confess your sins. Ask God to forgive you. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. And make you a new creature. One fit for heaven and not hell. And that's all you have to do. That's all? That's all. Oh, Mr. Deacon, you're getting my sneakers wet. Now come on up here. <laughs> well, that's all we have time for this morning. So let's all sing together, shall we? It's a wonderful day in the sanctuary, a beautiful day for a sanctuary. Would you be saved? I am. Could you be saved? I was. Good day, everybody. Bye. <laughs>